So here we have some missing digit division problems. So first we can see something has been divided by 3 to give an answer of 1. Now you might think this digit here has to be a 3. But remember with short division we get remainders. And if we look at the next place value along we have 2 divided by 3 but we have 7 in our answer. So we haven't divided 2 by 3 to get 7. We must have divided 22 by 3 to get 7 remainder 1. Because 7 times 3 is 21. And then we need one more to get to 22. So now let's think back to this first box. We need to think of a number that divides by 3 to give an answer of 1 remainder 2. This digit here must be a 5 because 5 divided by 3 is 1 remainder 2 because 1 times 3 is 3 and then we need 2 more to get to 5. So now for this box we have 1 as our remainder and we've divided by 3 to get 5. If we look at the next place value along we have 6 and that divides exactly into 3. So there was no remainder for this box here. That means that this digit must be a 5 because 15 divided by 3 is exactly 5 with no remainder because 5 times 3 is exactly 15. So now we just have 6 divided by 3 which is 2. So what we can do now to make our answer clear is just to rub out our working and just leave the missing digits in the boxes. Now for this box here we have something divided by 5 but notice that we don't have a digit in our answer line. So they must have taken the first two digits together. Now 6 times 5 is 30 so this digit here must be a 3 because 32 divided by 5 is 6 remainder 2. So now we have 26 divided by 5 which is 5 remainder 1 and now something divided by 5 is 3. Well 15 divided by 5 is 3 because 3 times 5 is 15 so this digit must be a 5. Again we can rub out our working and just leave the missing digits in the answer boxes. Now here we've divided 9 by 4 to get 2 and there must have been a remainder of 1 because 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So we need to write the remainders in ourselves. So now we have 12 divided by 4. That's exactly 3 because 3 times 4 is 12. Now here something divided by 4 is 0. Now you might think this missing digit must be a 0 because 0 divided by 4 is 0. But remember with short division we can get a remainder. And for this box we've divided by 4 to get 6. So in this box here we must have divided 24 by 4 to get 6. So we need a digit in this box which is going to give us a remainder of 2. Well 2 divided by 4 is 0 remainder 2 so this digit here has to be a 2. Again we can rub out our working and we found all of our missing digits. Now there was another way that we could have solved this problem. As soon as we'd worked out that this box here was a 3 what we could have done is multiply our answer or our quotient by the divisor. So 6 times 4 is 24 0 times 4 is 0 plus 2 is 2, 3 times 4 is 12 so 1, 2, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So that gives us 9,224 so that must have been our dividend.